Hi everyone, my name is Dave Dubay. I'm a product manager at Cisco, and I wanted to do a quick overview of a tool that one of my colleagues has put together uh, in conjunction with a lot of folks within our tech organization. It's called the Cisco CLI Analyzer, and it's our take on an SSH client. The difference that we're bringing to the table is we're infusing tech intellectual capital into the SSH client in and of itself. So for those users who happen to be already a PuTTY or secure CRT user, uh, one thing to note, you can actually import devices that you may have stored in those individual tools. Uh, the application as a whole is a installable, and I'll show you how to get it, uh, installable that will run locally on your Windows or Mac uh, device. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in. So one of the first things we do, uh, or the client does when we log into a device is it runs a show version. And the idea behind this is um, based on the, the large number of diagnostic signatures that our TAC organization has put together, uh, we want to kind of reduce that potential subset as much as possible to make the, um, the information gleaned from the, from the utility a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, a little more performant. So I'll give you an example. So we know that this is a ASA 5505. We know what software version it's running. Um, if we were to do something simple like show int, here we can see some uh, text is actually highlighted in a different color. Um, blue is to indicate an informational message. Orange is intended to indicate a warning. And red is intended to indicate a danger or you know, uh, suggesting that you should go and investigate quickly. So if we click on any one of these highlighted texts, uh, more information is exposed. And then if you want to dive down in a little bit further, you can click on the documentation link. And this will actually take you immediately to the documentation in question. So no hunting and pecking and trying to figure out, searching um, the relevant information that you might need in order to resolve uh, a particular issue. Um, we are going to continue to flow through here, finish the show int. And there we have it. So another thing that we can do that's kind of unique to this um, is let's say we want to do a show IP. And here we get some IP addresses. If you highlight any one of these IP addresses, one thing that's kind of neat embedded within here, you can uh, right click and you can ping traceroute, open an SSH or a telnet session directly to that. Um, or you can actually request um, a text string in general. You can request a text string be added to some contextual highlighting for, for future reference. Um, also, if we run, do a show run, we'll see an example in a moment here. So here's a uh, situation where something is highlighted as an orange, um, ignored static route. It's actually an invalid route metric, so that should be corrected. And for more details about that, you could actually pull up the documentation specific to that in individual uh, scenario. So that's all pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, the other thing you can do from within the analyzer, you can actually add in search terms. I can't remember if we have any serial numbers. So uh, we had, if you want to search for a particular serial number here, again, is another case where if you right, uh, right click, you can actually check the service coverage on that particular device. Um, you can actually add additional search terms. Um, so let's say um, duplex. You want to search on duplex, you can go that and add it as well. And then you can cycle in from one to another. So the nice thing here is you don't have to take the CLI output, uh, dump it into, let's say, Notepad and do a search and replace. You can do all through that, um, you know, that activity all through the SSH client in and of itself. So. What I've shown you thus far, just being able to log into a particular device, use a SSH terminal, um, having some search capabilities, the contextual highlighting, all of that is uh, kind of the basic set of capabilities within the client in and of itself. Um, that's available for download from our support website. It's free. Um, you don't need any additional uh, permissions other than the fact that you need to have a, a Cisco user ID in order to, to create the, the download or get the executable on your device. Um, oh, one more piece I forgot to mention. So if you actually wanted to log a session, you can go down here, you can turn on logging, and then again, if you do show run, it'll run through a bunch of the same scenario that we had before, and then if we turn that back off, it will 
save that off uh, into wherever you want it to go. So you can actually save a, a session, you can upload that to TAC if you were gonna open up a, a TAC case or whatnot. And then if you wanna um, tweak how the, the terminal client looks and how the contextual highlighting is, is turned on, if you go into the display, um, you can turn on or off. So let's say we decided to turn off the informational uh, messages and we go back to the device and we do a show int. If you remember, all those blue highlighting uh, pieces of text, they're no longer there. But if we go back into settings and then we change that back to include that and go back to the device, all that gets shown up again. So it, it's a very easy and quick toggle turning on and off. All right, so here's where things start to change a little bit. So if you happen to have a Cisco support contract, you then get access to our tools that uh, TAC engineers have written and they use on a day-to-day -day basis. So the first one is doing a system diagnostic. It's going to pass in my credentials. I'm going to log in. It's actually going to essentially run a show tech. You can kind of see it running in the background. It's going to collect that information. It's going to send it to Cisco. That show tech file is going to be analyzed, and then the results of that are going to come back to me in a, a dialog. So the nice thing here is we get a report here where I may be debugging a particular issue, um, but passing that show tech through our tech tools, we may find other things that we weren't even intending on. So we can go in any one of these, open them up, find more information. Um, if you click on the little eyeball here, it'll actually take you directly to that line within the show tech um, of uh, what had actually occurred or what the issue is, and you can highlight that. And if you remember that invalid route metric we saw before, that's the same thing. The other thing is, uh, in this particular scenario, we see that there was a crash detected within the last week. So another tool that we have available for the ASAs is the traceback analyzer. So what we have here is the, uh, if you run this particular tool, that crash file will get sent again to Cisco, um, and uh, it'll be analyzed and the results will come back to us. So while that is churning, we can kind of look through. We've got some other issues with overlapping net rules. Uh, we can get more information about that. Um, so you know, pretty quickly, you can kind of get a synopsis of what's going on in your device, which is kind of nice to have. And the traceback analyzer finally finished. If we go into the results, we see that the crash file that was stored, it's related to a particular bug. We can click on the bug and load that up as well in our uh, browser. So this has been a, a, a quick overview, um, just so that you are aware. Uh, right now, ASAs, iOS, iOS XR, XE, NX, NXOS devices are supported. Um, again, the tech tools are limited to people that have a Cisco support contract, but the SSH client, the raw capabilities, the contextual highlighting. Um, you can even use the tool to SSH into any device, but obviously you wouldn't necessarily get the contextual highlighting um, if it's you know of a, of a different vendor, um, but that's all available for anyone to download. And you can actually get the client by going to the Cisco support website. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see Cisco CLI Analyzer. You can click on that, and then you'll be taken to a page where you can then download the clients appropriately and get more information about the client as well. So cway.cisco.com slash go slash sa and you'll get all this information. So I hope this has been helpful and uh, if you have any questions or you want to provide feedback, if you go back into the tool, if you click the little feedback bullhorn, um, if you type in whatever comments you want to uh, present to us or pass along to us, this will actually get sent to our product manager and the rest of the development team and we do appreciate your feedback. And last thing, I know I said it was a last thing a few moments ago, but if you go to the feature guide, uh, in here are little video on demand snippets. So you can kind of see uh, little 10 to 20 second videos of individual tools and capabilities based on a given release that was delivered. So that's another helpful guide as well. Thank you, and I hope you appreciate this demo. Thank you.